During G1 phase of the cell cycle, presence of growth factors will activate growth factor receptors and their downstream signaling pathways. MADMAX transcription factors bound to DNA repress transcription and induce growth inhibitory proteins. MIC associates with MAX at the DNA and MAD is released. MIC-MAX activates transcription and expression of cyclin D and CDK4, increasing cyclin D levels. In early G1 in the nucleus, retinoblastoma protein is hypophosphorylated in its active state and bound to E2F transcription factors, inhibiting E2F activity. P21 and P27 bind and inhibit CDK2 cyclin E complexes and promote the formation of CDK4 cyclin D complexes. MIC activation increases cyclin D levels and CDK4 cyclin D complexes begin to steal P21 and P27 from CDK2 cyclin E complexes. Activated CDK4 cyclin D complexes will start to phosphorylate and inactivate retinoblastoma protein. Later in G1, inactivation of retinoblastoma protein releases E2F transcription factor and allows it to activate transcription of its target genes. This includes increasing expression of cyclin E. Increased numbers of CDK2 cyclin E complexes and the transfer of P21 and P27 onto CDK4 cyclin D complexes further increases the activity of the CDK2 cyclin E complexes. This increases phosphorylation and inactivation of retinoblastoma protein and the phosphorylation of P27, targeting it for degradation. The cell is now ready to enter the S phase. In cancer, this process can be deregulated at any stage by gene mutations. One common mutation is in the MYC gene. A mutation in MYC could cause gene amplification, which would increase the activity of MYC and increase the production of cyclins and CDKs. This leads to uncontrolled cell proliferation, one of the hallmarks of cancer.